Alright guys, so today what I really like to start doing is really tearing away at the front end because I want to I wanna get this thing really stripped down soon and get everything in the works for like body work and stuff like that because I can always um, keep working on other things well if I were to get things like to go to paint or something like that you know so um, I'd like to just start pulling all the body panels off um, you know like the whole front end, the bumper, the trunk doors you know, really strip it down soon. So uh, today, I think I'm gonna start on the front end and just uh, pull a bunch of shit off. And uh, yeah, hope you do it. So unfortunately for this fender, um, it won't come off as easily as the other one because underneath there was a hole, which it was just, I think some of the fender was bent or something. And um, it led up inside the fender well, like in behind the fender. And to get car safety in Canada, there can be no holes under the car. So he counted that as a hole. So I, I literally just bondoed it up so uh, now I'm kind of paying the price for that, and I've got to cut all the Bondo along the seams to get the fender off, so hopefully this will work out well. Um, there is a screw in there that's like Bondoed in now, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I might just have to grind it down and grind it off, but yeah, hopefully this works out. I got that fender off and uh, just installed that wide body kit. Look at that, man. Look how wide it is now. Nah, it's just the inner fenders, but um, both uh, both fenders are off. This one took a bunch of cutting and stuff to uh, get it, but I got it all off and uh, well, I guess now is the hood, doors, trunk, and um, probably pop-ups as well. I'll probably uh, take them off. The crash bar and everything I'll take off. I've been working on it and um, I got the entire front end apart. So I got, you know, the pop-ups out, um, the hood off, and well, so all the panels are off the front for now. So I'm gonna head around to the back and take apart the trunk and stuff like that, the bumper off the back, hopefully. So we'll see how much we can get done before daylight's completely gone. I got the rear bumper completely off last night, and um, today I continued stripping the trunk. I pulled the inner fender lines out, front and rear. So uh, next, I'll probably take off the doors, I guess. Um, it's just what five five bolts, and they're out, so shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know how heavy they are, but it's a Miata, so probably not that heavy. So uh, yeah.
so the doors are all off so I'm pretty satisfied with how the car is looking right now um, so I think what I'm gonna do next is the interior is a mess the trunks full of a bunch of crap so uh, I'm gonna take a garbage bag just huck all my stuff in there and uh, bring that inside and then uh, grab a shop vac and vacuum out everything and then probably pull the heater stuff right there and because um, I need to pull that to get the carpet out from under it and then hopefully I can pull the carpet today and then probably just pull whatever else is in the inside. box and everything is out. I took out the last of the seat belts. Um, so now we're all ready to pull the carpet. So let's see how grimy it is under here. Damn, that's a lot of dirt and rust. Oh shit, what do you mean? Alright, well I'm gonna pull the carpet right out and then I'll I'll show you the rest of it. Well, it's uh, it's really not that bad. Passenger side is pretty clean. Uh, I'm gonna tear up all this stuff and um, have a peek under there. Quite a bit of change in here. Uh, that side's pretty rusty over there, so I'm gonna definitely peel that up and see if there's any holes or anything, but overall not bad. It's uh, you know, I guess these cars would look pretty good with that, that red. But uh, somebody had to deface this one with yellow. But uh, I'm gonna fix that and put an even nicer color of red on it. Everything's all out now. I vacuumed everything all clean. And I found about $2.30 in here. So that should be able to pay for the rest of this build, no problem. So I think we'll be able to do some pretty crazy stuff now with that cash. Um, over on this side though, um, I did find there was about two two or three soft spots in the floor. So I just kind of knocked them through just so I'd be able to clearly see and everything. But overall the floor is not horrible. I will just cut, cut all that out and weld a patch in there, but the rest of the floor is all pretty solid. So I'm not really worried about that. I'll uh, be painting all this anyways, so. But uh, I think that's about it for today. I'll probably pull the e-brake out. But that's it, so uh... We got a lot done. We uh, completely stripped the thing down and... I mean, now it's pretty much just uh, pull out everything underneath and pull the engine out and then I'll be on to bodywork and all that fun stuff, so... Cause then I can take care of all the little bits of rust and stuff around there. Today is a very exciting day. Um, I put in a bunch of work yesterday and you can see the bay looking a little more stripped, so... Today we actually had to pull the engine out, so I've already gone through and labeled everything that there is to label, and I mean everything else is out of there. It's all sitting in the back of my dad's truck bed, so that's that's an entire Miata right there, along with the body panels and stuff over there. But today will be awesome, so I'll get the engine out and I can start on taking the subframe off, stuff like that. Before we pull that out though, um, the first thing I have to do is take the shifter off, so that's only three bolts, and then undo the two bolts for the motor mounts, and those are just down here inside those holes, there's just uh, one on either side, and then hook the chain up to it, right here, and uh, we got a bolt down there since it's missing the hook, and then the hook on the back there. And then just uh, grab my little brother and yank it out. All 
right, guys. So we got the engine out. Um, it went pretty smoothly, I'd say. Unfortunately, I can't set it down all the way on the tire because the engine jack is bottoming out there. So um, I'm going to buy an engine stand hopefully sometime soon for it so I can just split the tranny off and then have somewhere to actually work on the engine. But as for the bay, I'm going to take the power, power, power steering rack out and um, clean it up a bit, get rid of all the brake lines and stuff because whoever did them before did a weird job. So then I'll clean up all the wiring and stuff. I have it all labeled and uh, pull all the suspension and subframe out. That's it for today. It niche, you boy. And that's it for today, guys. Um, thanks for watching. See you later. Vape Nation. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I found another 15 cents, so it looks like we're going LS swap on this thing. Oh shit, there's another quarter in there. Alright, twin turbo LS. Ah, oh no, it's just a nickel. Alright, single turbo. Alright guys, alright guys, alright guys, alright guys, so I... Alright, so... Alright, so... Alright, guys. The power, power, power steering. T -t Today, Junior! Oh. So, um, so, um, yeah. I guess that's all you'll see, really. Yeah, bro. Peace.